Yo, 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 what up? It's Jay Lyrical Official Jay back on the set once again with another action figure unboxing revealing video. But before I get into this video, I want to say shout out to the Wrestling Universe located in Queens, New York. They are the reason why this video was being done today. I got a set from them last night. If you need any wrestling figures, AEW, WWE, ECW, anything you could think of, please go to the Wrestling Universe located in Queens, New York. Let's get into this video. Like I said, it's a set. It's a set that I've seen before. I never really, really wanted the set back then. When I went to the Wrestling Universe last night, I had to get the set. Because I'm looking, I'm like, yo, nah, this set look fire. Maybe I should get this right now, you know what I mean? So let's get into this video. Voila, here's the set. It is the WWE Elite DX Edition. This set is actually dope. Like I said, I seen this set a while ago. I never really, really wanted to get it back then, but like I said, I was at the Wrestling Universe last night looking at some figures, and then I seen this set on the shelf. I was like, nah, let me get this. And the only reason why I really, really got this set was because I don't have the New Age Outlaws. But I figured if I was going to get the New Age Outlaws, why not get the whole set? You know what I'm saying? I actually have two other Xbox, I have two other Triple H's, and I have one China. But you can't get two without getting all of these guys together. So this is Road Dog. This is Billy Gunn. This is Xbox, Triple H, and China. What I like about this is that they actually, if you've never seen the segment, this is the segment where they invaded uh, WCW back in the day. And I'm glad they made this a set because that was actually a very, very iconic segment for WWF and WCW back in the day. So this is actually really, really dope. They're actually of different series. They're not all in the same series. But one thing I wish they did with this, honestly, I wish they had the Jeep. Like, so WWE elites are starting to do like builder figures now, right? I wish this had the builder figure Jeep. Because if you remember, they invaded WCW in the Jeep. It would have been cool if it was a tank, but it was a Jeep. So let's get these bad boys open. And like I said, once again, shout out to the Wrestling Universe in Queens, New York. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all always. Love the store. Always getting stuff from y'all. So let's see what y'all got. Here we go. We have the set of the WWE Elite DX Army. Now... This video is actually going to be cool for me because what I discovered about these is that this is not their only attire. They actually have wrestling gear underneath this removable attire. So let's get it in one by one. So we have China, who looks big as hell as always, but I love the detail in the face. I love the detail in the arms. The arms are great. The legs are perfect. And she actually has a removable vest. So her vest opens and closes, and she has a collar on. She has like this neck collar, this black neck collar with like silver spikes and like a small little pendant, as you can see. As I said, you remove the vest through the middle, and she looks great. She looks great as always. Rest in peace, China. This is actually one of my favorite female wrestlers from back in the day. And we got my boy, <laughs> my boy, Billy Gunn, the ass man, Mr. Ass, whatever you want to call this guy. And he has a whole removable outfit. The helmet comes off, as you can see. The shirt comes off and the pants are removable as well. And like I said, I'm going to get into that in the next part of this video with their removable attire. Yeah, he looks great, actually. He, he looks dope as hell. My boy, Mr. Ass, the Ass Man. I like this attire for them. I'm actually glad that they did this because this is dope as hell. The fact that they have the whole DX army is actually pretty cool. So like I said, I slept on this at first, but when I saw them all together, I was like, yeah, no, I got to get them now. I definitely, definitely got to get them. My son, Mr. Ass Man, don't want to stand up straight. It's all good. But what I like about this figure is that aside from the uh, changeable hands, his facial recognition is real. Like, hold on, let me show you guys again. That actually does look like Billy Gunn from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? This is actually Billy Gunn right here. 
So I like this figure a lot. And Billy Gunn was actually one of my favorites um, back in the day in the Attitude Era. So I was actually really, really glad to get this. I really wanted the New Age Outlaws. So I was like, well, if you get two out of the army, you have to get the other three. So I just figured, eh, why not just get them all, right? It makes sense. Then we got my son, Road Dog, Jesse James, who also comes with removable. Actually, oh no, this doesn't, wait a minute, hold on, does it? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Uh, actually it does. It does. The way that the hair is uh, stuffed in, it actually, oh no, wait, hold on. This isn't removable. Wait a minute. Oh, yes it is. Boom, it is removable. It, it, it takes some doing, I'm not even gonna lie. Because I didn't want to pull too hard and then like F around and pull the hair out, you know? But yeah, the, the headpiece is removable. He comes with removable pants, a removable shirt, and he also has what appears to be like a utility belt across his chest. We'll show you my son, Road Dog. Road Diggity Dog. Like I said, all of these come with removable attire. Oh, he actually has the tattoo in the back of the head, too. I didn't peep that. Hold on one second. He actually has the tattoo on the back of the head. I definitely did not peep that. Interesting. So, yeah. So, with this, when you're removing the... Um, the headpiece, the helmet, you gotta like, you gotta finagle it a little bit, which is cool. I mean, there's no issue about that. The utility belt is removable as well. I'm gonna show you guys later how they look without the attire. But yeah. Next, we got my boy X Pop. X Piggity Pop. Once again, the helmet is removable. He comes with uh, glasses as well. I mean, you know, it's not X-Pac without glasses. So let me put the glasses on and show you guys what he looks like with the glasses, which is cool because, you know, X-Pac always wore shades back in the day. So this is actually great. Yes, I'm struggling to put the glasses on, guys. Yeah, you see it. So, yep. Yeah. And he comes with a removable jacket. He actually has a plastic DX shirt. Uh... These guys come with cloth DX shirts. He's the only one with a plastic DX shirt. The jacket is removable, the shirt is removable, the pants is removable. And yeah, I'll show you my boy, x pop Yeah. See, like I was saying with the shirt, the shirt is plastic. But that's okay because there's a, um, there's a way to remove the shirt from the back. The back of the shirt actually attaches and detaches. So that's how you remove um, these kind of shirts. And a lot of WWE Elite figures actually had those plastic shirts. I remember at one point, that's what they were doing. Before they really started doing like cloth attire, they were doing like these plastic shirts. Uh, Brock Lesnar has one. I think it's a drape over if I'm not mistaken. But I have uh, a bunch of WWE Elite figures that have these shirts. And I actually like these plastic shirts, believe it or not. The cloth shirts are great, don't get me wrong, because I like cloth attire for WWE figures. But I can't sleep on the plastic shirts either. The plastic is dope as well. You know what I'm saying? It's stronger, you know what I'm saying? So it's less likely to get damaged. So I like that for WWE Elite figures. So yeah, my boy x Pot. Like I said, all this attire is removable. And I'm going to show you guys what they look like without their DX clothing in the end. And last but not least, my boy, Triple H. Removable pants, removable shirt, and he actually has the megaphone. <laughs> he has the megaphone. The helmet is removable as well. This is dope. Like, you can't have this set without the megaphone. Like I said, I wish they had the um, the vehicle that they were in as well. That would have, like, tipped it off. And there's my boy, Triple H. Younger Triple H at that, too. Who comes with the extra set of hands? They all come with the chop hands, and they all come with fist hands as well. Uh, except China. China doesn't come with any chop hands. The guys do, but China doesn't. She comes with uh, closed fist and open fist. So yeah, let's move into the second part of the video with. 
their attire being removed. Let's see what they got as wrestling gear. Stripped and ready to go. <laughs> so these are what these guys look like outside of their DX Army attire. But let me go through them one by one. China, of course, has the bra with the big arms. Of course. China didn't surprise me at all. Of course they had China all buff and whatnot with a, with a bra on. Of course. <laughs> but she looks good. My boy Billy Gunn has the white attire. He has the white attire with all the kisses all over him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all over the front, all over the side, and all over the back. Yeah. Which, you can't be Billy Gunn, Mr. Ass, the ass man, without all of this. You know what I mean? So this is cool. This is cool. I actually, I actually like how he looks. You know, believe it or not, because he actually, his attire was always interesting, but I wasn't sure when I first got these if they had wrestling attire underneath that. So, you know, and I know you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you look it up? The element of surprise was better for me. And I'm actually glad I didn't look it up because that made it that much more surprising for me. So all of this is new to me. And I'm glad they got my boy Billy Gunn with this attire on. Next, we got my man Road Dog with the black tights, with the white designs on the side. Tattoos look great. And like I said, the headpiece does come off. You just got to be careful taking it off with the hair. But yeah, no, he looks great. He actually looks good. The black tights, the black boots, with the white design on the side and the tattoos. He looks dope. He looks really, really good. Very, very detailed. Which doesn't surprise me. I mean, you know, WWE Elite always does, like, very, very, very detailed with their figures. Like, they don't miss a beat. My boy Rodo, Jesse James. Then we go to my man X-Pac, which, this is cool. They gave him the black, red, and white DX attire, which is cool. They didn't give him the um, black and green, which surprises me. I mean, I know there's a black and green X-Pac uh, WWE Elite figure. But I figured that they would give him that for this. But nonetheless, nonetheless, this is cool. And I actually have two other X-Pac figures. I have the SummerSlam 2024 WWE Elite Edition X-Pac. And he actually almost looks similar to this. That X-Pac is red, black, and silver. Yeah, it's red, black, and silver. But this one is red, black, and white. This one is dope. This is dope. The DX on the side of the leg and the DX on the middle. Looks really, really good. Very, very detailed for X Pac. And you know, with X Pac, I mean, I've always liked X Pac figures. You know, I even have a um, WWE Elite 6 when he was in WCW. Uh, I have a 6 figure as well. Because he went also by six pop. So I have that figure as well. Like I said, I also have the SummerSlam edition of X Pop. But nonetheless, this is dope. I like what they did with X Pop. Last but not least, my boy, Triple H, with the black and green leggings with the three H's. Very, very, very cool. And this face scan looks like <laughs> young Triple H. Young DX Triple H with the HHH in the front and the HHH in the back. Black and green leggings. You know what I mean? You can't go wrong with that. That's why I'm surprised that they didn't have Xbox in any black or green for this uh, for this set, but nonetheless, a great figure. So, yeah, this is the WWE Elite DX Army Edition. Shout out once again to the Wrestling Universe Store in Queens, New York for hooking me up with this. Amazing guys, I love these figures. I love what they did with this. This is amazing. As you've seen them with the DX attire, and now this is them without the attire. So that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, leave a comment. Do you have these figures? Do you not have these figures? Do you like these figures? What do you think they could have changed or added? Like I said in the beginning, I wish they had the Jeep as a builder figure that was put in each one of these boxes because then that would have just completed the whole thing. But nonetheless, great figures, 
great set. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. Tune into the next video where I'll be doing something very, very, very interesting. I'll be doing a tag team, a cool, dope tag team from 2002. I'll let you see it when it comes out. Peace.